Hello everybody, welcome to another Purveyor of Light Quick Tip. Uh, today we've got a little bit off the ordinary, but uh, hopefully maybe this one will actually save you some money. Um, I'm going to show you today that if uh, you're the typical photo editor, in other words, uh, the 90% out there that take pictures, if you have a Mac computer, I have a way that you completely stop paying Adobe monthly if you don't need to. Okay, and I'm going to show you exactly how with tools built into your own Mac, you can do 75% of what Lightroom offers you and you can do it for totally free. So you can stop paying the alligator, the monthly alligator to Adobe. Now again, 75% of the functionality, that's what most people need. They don't need any more. So, all right, so let's just dive right in here. I have a photo opened in Lightroom and it's just a photo you know for demonstrations it's nothing great uh, I'm just gonna do a really fast edit on it okay and I'm just gonna come in move the exposure increase the contrast a little bit I'm gonna bring in some of the highlights a little bit work with the shadows okay come in and uh, Maybe put a tone curve on it. Okay, something like that. So that would be a basic edit. Okay, so the before and the after. All I did is some minor edits and I went through the basic panels, you know, adjusting the exposure, the, the highlights, the, the whites, the shadows. Uh, so forth the little tone curve and uh, I'm done I'm ready to export it I'm happy with the edits and this is what most people do with their photos they just do little tweaks like this but a lot of people don't know this that if you have a Mac you have all this same functionality already built in for you all right so I'm gonna jump over now into photos which is built in on every Mac and I'm gonna open the identical photo okay without the edits and right here I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the edit button here in the upper right a lot of people don't even know this is there and lo and behold look at this doesn't this look familiar this is this is almost all of Lightroom like I said 75% of Lightroom's capabilities are built in here and it's absolutely free so let's go ahead and jump in Oh, well, I uh, maybe want to move the brilliance. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe the exposure a little bit. Uh, bring the highlights. Uh, shadows. Do I want more shadows? Okay. Uh, work with the photo. Maybe increase the contrast a little bit. and let's see color saturation i'll just leave it alone i don't want to do black and white uh it even has retouching tools in here where i can do clone and uh uh touching and so forth uh and there's my curve i'm gonna do very much like i did in the lightroom is just do a little bit of an s curve here just to bring it out i have a levels control here if i wanted and uh there we go. I've performed all the same edits that were in Lightroom. I did this inside photos on my Mac. Again, bringing them over. What do you think? Pretty good, huh? Now, again, the adjustments are not exact because I didn't sit there to duplicate the, the times on these. But, hey, I think it's a pretty good thing. I think it's pretty close. What do you think? Can you tell which one's Lightroom and which one's Photos? I don't really think you can. And I did this one for completely free. And I'm free of that monthly alligator. Now, if you're the typical photographer and you do not need all the power of Photoshop and you don't you don't use all the fancy stuff that's in, in Lightroom, uh hey, 
this tool right here is all built in for you and it's totally free so you could stop paying Adobe every month and go buy your family some dinner all right until next week you guys take care